You're listening to Morakai Memento. Delve deep into your imagination and experience a fantastical and enchanting journey. If you're willing and able, please support me on Patreon and with super thanks. Now, let's awaken your most passionate desires. You want my number? Tch. Like I'm gonna give it to you. I don't talk to worthless scum like you. You're not worth my time. Still here, are you? Maybe I'll give you a chance. Only because people like you are fun to play with. You look like a worthless, mangy mutt. Maybe I should treat you like a good-for-nothing dog. Yeah, that's about what you look like. Maybe I'll have you do some dog tricks for me. If you work hard enough, maybe I'll give you my phone number. Like that'll ever happen. But you can try. We'll see. I'll tell you what. You come to my playroom tonight, and we'll see what happens. All right, pest, take a look around. Can you see all the balls around the room? They're for you to fetch. On my command. Notice that we only have balls because I don't think you're smart enough to manage more than one trick in a training session. It's going to be hard enough to train you to fetch. I can tell by the look on your face that your brain is small. Thus, your performance will be poor. I just hope that I'm not wasting my time and I get at least a smidgen of entertainment dealing with you. You worthless past. All right. Are you ready? You don't look ready. You're not even in canine position. Get down on your hands and knees, you little bitch. Are you trying to impress me or put me off? Because I'm not feeling very impressed. You're not putting much effort into this at all. Hands and knees, buddy. Try to pull off a convincing puppy. I know it's a challenge for someone of your small caliber. That's right, hands and knees. And now, can you pant like a dog might do? I mean, you have eyes. I'm sure you've seen dogs before. So, show me some dog-like behavior. Pant. And don't even think about humping my leg, you little pesty scum. I will beat you with a rolled up newspaper until you're whimpering for mercy if you do that. I don't need your disgusting habits here. It's bad enough you're here. Okay, fetch. No, too slow. Dogs move fast. You mangy mutt, you barely moved at all. You need to go fast if you want to please me. I don't think you're really into pleasing me. I think you just want to try to get my number and you're here to amuse yourself. If you're going to do this, you need to be all in. I want to see the effort. Now fetch. Nope. Too slow. Bad dog. Bad. Worthless, 
mutt. There's no place for you here. You're an embarrassment. I've worked with dogs that have no arms and legs that have moved way faster than you do. Not only are you an embarrassment, you're boring me. I could deal with you being pathetic and worthless, but boring is intolerable. Why am I even here if it's not to be entertained by you? And you're failing miserably. Though I suppose that shouldn't come as a surprise to me. With your lame ass, ask for my number. All right, try again. Let me at least see you panting again. Pant, pant, you filthy little pest. Try to pretend that you're actually putting some effort into this. Now, fetch. Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. Too slow. You're a failure. You're an abject failure. You're sluggish. You're slow. You don't move well. This isn't going to work. You have provided me with a tiny bit of entertainment, though. So here's the deal. You put some practice into moving faster, and then I'll entertain seeing you again, and I might even try a different trick with you. But you need to pass the speed fetch. We'll see. This is your last chance. If I am not completely satisfied and entertained the next time you're here, you're out of my life. Forever. For good. Goodbye, bitch.